All right, guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of All About Life. In today's segment, we're going to be talking about what do typically men and women look for in one another? Only heterosexual relationships, okay, guys? We're going to keep this video very short and simple and get straight to the point of what typically we are looking for in one another, all right? Now, what I'm going to do is, to make things a little bit interesting and a little bit more creative, we are going to be discussing a trait on each side, and then we move on to the next, and both of them are going to correlate with one another. For example, if I say, you know, men are looking for looks, I'm also going to talk about what women are looking for in comparable to what I stated for the men. So, now let's get right into it. Men typically look for looks and beauty when it comes to women, all right? We fall in love with what we see and we enjoy the idea of what it's going to be like to be with you, okay? So, for example, when I look at a woman, my senses are very in tune with my observation. So, when I'm thinking of that girl, all the sexual thoughts come into mind, you know? I'm not worried about her dress. If her dress looks really nice on her, I'm thinking of what she's going to look like outside of those clothes, that's just being quite frank. We already are in our mind, we're moving towards the sexuality of how it's gonna be like with that person, okay? Now, this is very important because in order for me to even wanna get to know you as a person, your looks and beauty standards have to be on point. And that's gonna look different for each woman. So let's not expect that every person's gonna look the same or follow the same guidelines. Beauty and looks can be subjective. Now, there are situations where it's more objective based off of the demographic that we're covering, but I'm not going to get too much into that. Now, on the woman's spectrum, women are also looking for good-looking man, very handsome, sexy, okay? So we both are looking for similar things in here. Now, I will point out the difference between the two. When it comes down to women, you do not get disqualified if your looks are not on point or if you're not as handsome. However, if we're looking for genuine desire, genuine lust, your looks need to be on point for that woman to really like you, all right? Where she wants to escalate things, where she's going to allow you to leave, where she's not going to give you pushback, where things are going to just be very easygoing and smooth. So for you guys, understand that looks aren't a must but it's needed if you want genuine desire. Point blank, I'm not sugarcoating it. If anyone tells you anything different, they're bullshitting. Now, when it comes to personality, men are looking for good personality from women. That means being fun, being agreeable, not being a problem, having sense of self, utilizing accountability. A lot of those factors that I just brought up are some of the main traits that we look for in women. Now, many women these days are lacking some of those attributes. So it becomes a little harder to figure out as a man what kind of woman you're gonna wanna go for when you notice that these personality traits are scarce. Now, on the other hand, women are looking for personalities based off the type of girl she is. Now, the reason why I worded it differently for the men and the women is typically most men are very similar. I'm talking about the majority. Now, when it comes to women, you'll notice that based off of her upbringing, based off of her culture, based off of what she's used to, the environment that she's been introduced, that's going to determine what kind of personality traits she's going to go for in men. Some women like hood niggas. What does that mean? It means guys that are very abrasive, guys that are very dangerous. And I don't mean dangerous necessarily that they're going to hurt people, but dangerous where they don't really think about what's going to go down. So they'll put themselves in bad, shitty situations in a lot of times without understanding the consequences. They're going to pick men that follow certain personality traits. You could be an arrogant guy. You could be a preppy guy. You could be a guy that's very giving, very understanding. Some personality traits will ignite a lot of feelings from that woman. So based on the person she is, will determine what personality traits she goes for. We look for femininity. Okay, so what does that mean for the ladies? Simply put, girls who are worried about their appearance, girls that are not engaging in masculine activities, women who are agreeable by nature, 
okay? Where they realize, all right, if my guy is into something, they're going to conform, all right? They're like water, where they take the shape and form of whoever they're with. So if a guy is into video games and the girl isn't, she will start putting herself in that environment. If the guy is into sports and she isn't, the girl will become more agreeable and dive into those topics. Somebody that you can spend time with and it does not feel forced. All these traits that I'm listing is things that make men comfortable around the woman that he's with or that he actually likes. Okay, so when you're a feminine woman, you're going to bring a lot of that nurturing energy. And that is what's going to keep us wanting to be around you. Because most guys want a girl that he can really lay back and feel at ease and not have to worry about anything. When you're done going to work, out and about, doing what you need to do to survive or to make a good living, you want to come home to a place of sanctuary. And a woman could be that for you if she is in her feminine. Now, if she's in her masculine, you're going to have a lot of issues. Now, on the flip end side, what are women typically looking for? Masculine men, not feminine, okay? So that means assertive, dominant, men that get shit done immediately. They're ready to go, all right? They do not falter. It does not take them so much time to make action, to take initiative. So these type of men is what women are going to be drawn to, all right? And it doesn't matter what type of girl you're dealing with. These are traits that are universally fundamental to what we like as far as the sex that we are placed in. So if you're a man, there's specific traits that you're going to automatically be looking for. That's part of our DNA, part of biology. Same goes for a woman. And to keep this video short, last but not least, we are looking for a person that we know if we put our time, energy, resources, something will be built with that person. I know that I'm not wasting my time on an individual that I won't be able to see long term. So when we are ready to be with the person, these are the characteristics that we look for, short term and long term, which means you ladies, you need to take note. Men want women who not only we feel comfortable with, but we know that they will have our backs and we're not talking about the same way that we provide. I am doing the opposite things for you as a man. I'm looking out for you financially. I'm making sure that you are safe. I am allowing you to be feminine. I'm there for you in whatever capacity that is possible. So on the flip end side, you are looking for your rock. A man that has these strong fundamental characteristics that make a good partner, which will allow a future to be created. Men that can provide, protect, lead, and all the other qualities that I discussed earlier in the video. This is what women are looking for. Are you that person for one another? If you're not most of those relationships will fail, which is why I tell men, look for women who embody the characteristics that you know you need as a man and vice versa, okay? This idea that men and women could be anything they want to be and interchangeable is bullshit and is setting you up for failure because that is not what we're naturally attracted to, which is why when you get into relationships, with people who are very wishy-washy, all right? Men that are very feminine or, men, or women that are very masculine, you'll see those relationships crumble. They do not work because we need one another to complement each other. We can't be doing the same shit and we can't be the same person in the relationship. There are roles and there are opposites. And this is why we attract. We're attracted to what we don't have naturally. If I am a confident man, I lead, I'm strong. Do you believe I'm looking for those same qualities in a woman? Absolutely not. Okay? I'm looking for the softer part of things so that she can balance me out. The same way her man needs to balance her out. So if she is soft, feminine, brings all that nurturing energy, you need to be able to be dominant, lead, provide, protect. 
You get what I'm saying? It's the yin and yang. It's the balance that will pull you guys together, okay? And that's what creates a very good relationship. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more like these, leave it in the comment section below. Make sure that you do like this video and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's not easy finding the right partner for you as a man or woman, but you need to be right for other people as well, okay? We can't live in this world, accept me as I am, if you know that you are not where you should be. If you know that there's a lot of fundamentals you need to work on. If you're a woman and you're mainly masculine and you know that a lot of people are shying away from you because of your behavior, you gotta change that shit. Men are not going to accept you the way you are. And if you're a man and you're a bitch and you don't know how to lead and take assertive action and make sure that you are there for that woman in the ways that I described earlier in this video, then you need to improve on yourself. Men, you are the rock. Women, you are the water. I hate to be very cheesy and use these catchphrases, but it's true. Women adapt to you as a man. It's not the other way around. It's not that you adapt to the woman. The woman adapts to you. But you need to have those strong qualities for her to want to adapt to your lifestyle, to who you are as a person. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. And as always, this channel is all about you. Catch you guys on the next video.